this Christmas, New Year, Sankranti, Ziva Fertility offers you a 30% discount on IVF packages. To know more about this, please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen or visit your nearest Ziva Fertility Center. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. If all the sperms in a semen sample are reported as abnormal, does it mean that you can never father a child? This is a very important question that patients ask us. Let's address this today. Semen analysis comprises of checking for the uh, sperm count in the sample, motility and the morphology. These are three most important things that we check for. In addition to a lot of things like the pH, the volume, the WBCs in it, etc. But three important factors are count, motility and morphology that we pay close attention to. Inside of that, morphology plays a very important role. The size and shape of the sperm is responsible for its proper transportation till the egg so that it can enter the egg and fertilize it. Now, does it mean that if you have abnormal sperms, you cannot father a child? To understand this, let's understand how we evaluate the morphology. Morphology evaluation is guided by WHO. According to the standards, we need to look at the head, the midpiece and the tail. The head has the entire DNA that a child inherits from the father. The midpiece has something called a centriole, which is responsible for embryo development. So the cell divisions inside the embryo are due to the centriole. The next is the tail. The tail is very responsible for transportation of the sperm till the egg. So these three things are very crucially and critically magnified and observed. Now, if the morphology, according to WHO, 4% is the normal cutoff, which means that out of 100, 4 sperms have to be normal, which is when we report it as a normal sample. If it is under 4, if it is 3 or 2, does it mean that you can never father a child? It does not mean so. Statistically observed, some fathers, when examined for their sperm samples, have shown that they had abnormal sperm morphology. So it does not mean that you cannot father a child if they are abnormal. Of course, 0% abnormality is something that we need to talk about. When the sperms are totally abnormal, then they fail to fertilize the egg in the partner's body. Now, the history of the couple is a very important factor. How many days have they been uh, infertile for? For how long have they been trying? What are the treatment options that they have opted for? These things are also very carefully examined and taken down in history. If we see, that they have tried enough, the count was good, the motility was good, the morphology was very poor or zero and they have tried enough naturally, we may want to something called as intrauterine insemination or IUI. Once this has failed, we take them up for IVF. In IVF, the good news is that every sperm can be magnified about 6000 times and sperms with the least morphology can be selected and put inside the sperms for better fertilization. So there are treatment options and 0% morphology need not directly qualify you for IVF. You can still try IUI and if that fails, you can then go for IVF. Of course, if you had previous miscarriages, if your uh, partner has had uh, abortions or if your partner has had previous IVF failures, then there are other options that we need to talk about. If you want to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.